Hey, what's up, awesome fellas? It's been a while, huh? First off, my apologies for dropping off the radar these past few months without notice. No, I didn't get snatched by a rival sim racing crew or vanish into the void of Nordschleife Forest. Life just decided to throw a few extra laps my way. Um, I've been a bit caught up with real-life stuff lately, between work, a few projects, and, of course, raising a teenage kid, which, let me tell you, is a whole adventure on its own. But it's something I truly cherish as a parent. Even with all that going on, I still make time to jump into the comments, reply to your questions here on YouTube, check messages, and hang with other modders at overtake.gg and also over on Patreon, too. And speaking of Patreon, man, I'm so grateful for all the support from you who've stuck around and followed my journey through gaming, especially sim racing, since way back. Even though it's been months since I last released a video, mods, or tutorials, that didn't stop some of you from still supporting me. You guys are the best. Really, I'm touched. Okay, enough about my little pit stop from real life. Before we go any further, I've cooked up three new CSP presets made to squeeze every bit of visual goodness out of your setup without frying your frame rate. They're tuned for better visuals and smoother performance, especially for those running low to mid-range PCs. Um, you can get them right now, links are chilling in the video description, but if you're more of a hands-on kind of fella and want to fine-tune things yourself, stick around. I've got some tips that'll help you get the most out of your setup without turning your PC into a space heater. And while you're mashing that downloads, let's talk Assetto Corsa and what a wild year it's been. I've been catching up on everything I missed and man, the community's been on fire. New apps popping up left and right, modders dropping cars that look and feel top tier, and some new tracks that honestly could pass as official content. Seriously, the AC community just refuses to slow down and I love it. So yeah, I figured it's about time I jump back in, share a few updates, writing new tutorials, and maybe cook up something new for all of you that keeps the game alive. So here's the thing about Assetto Corsa. Even after all these years, it still amazes me how good this game can look when it's tuned right. You don't need a monster rig or a PC that sounds like a Supra. With the right setup, even a mid-tier system can pull off some seriously impressive visuals. Now, if you've seen my earlier video about getting great graphics without a NASA-grade microwave for a PC, you'll know exactly what I mean. That guide was a solid foundation that made the old 3CSP presets quite a hit for some people with over 5,000 downloads to this day. But let's just say the tech world moves fast and some of those settings are starting to show their age. The thing is, with all the recent content manager and CSP updates, a few things have changed under the hood. Some settings now do wonders while others sneak up and tank your frame rate faster than a missed breaking point. So I went back, reworked a bunch of stuff, and updated those CSP presets that will hit the sweet spot between visuals and performance. And again, you can just grab them in the video description and see what works best for your setup. And I get it, if your game's chugging like an old diesel truck or your graphics look like they're stuck in 2005, the quickest fix is to try my CSP preset. It's tuned to boost visuals and keep your frame rate from falling apart. Now, if tweaking settings is your idea of fun, here's something that could help you make sense of it all. Let's start with step one, where we're going to reset the CSP. Head into CSP settings, and on the left side, you'll see a long list, like scroll for days long. And at the very bottom of some of those settings, there's a reset button. Now, before smashing any buttons, back up or save your current setup, just in case your tweaks go from faster to furious. Then go ahead and reset every extension that allows it. Or you can also grab my reset CSP settings preset from the description too. Um, same idea, just with a few tweaks baked in so you don't have to do the heavy lifting. Once you're done, load your car and jump into a track and see if your frame rate stopped crying for help. After testing it out on the track, it's time for step two. Head over to graphics adjustments and you might want to consider turning on AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR for short. It's basically a smart trick that boosts your frame rate by rendering the game at a lower resolution, then sharpens it back up so it still looks clean and detailed. Kind of like cheating, but in a good way. Next, pick your FSR quality setting, anywhere from sad to best quality, depending on how confident you are in your system's muscles. And if you end up picking sad, don't worry, no judgment, we've all been there. Just remember, we're trying to upgrade both graphics and performance, not give it life support. 
and once that's set, take it back to the track or fire up the in-game benchmark to see how it goes. So that's pretty much it, tweaking your CSP settings to boost both graphics and performance by resetting the CSP and doing minor tweaks. But hang on, we're not done just yet. Step three is where we see what your PC is really made of. Think of it like a stress test, but with more tire smoke and fewer boring charts. If you're already happy with how things look and run, feel free to stick with your new setup. But if you're curious and want to squeeze out a little more performance magic, this part's for you. Okay, step three it is. This one's for those running at least an NVIDIA GTX 1060 or AMD RX 570 or anything newer with a minimum of 4GB VRAM and 16GB of RAM. We're heading to the track of your choice with any car you like. Once you're in, let the AI take over so you can sit back and spectate. Um, you can do that from the cockpit view or hit F3 for replay camera and F5 for orbit view, whichever gives you the best look at what's happening. Now here's the fun part. Press Control alt backtick to open up the CSP settings while you're still in the game. We're going live. Focus on these three extensions. Extra FX, Grass FX, and Real Mirrors under the Smart Mirror section because these three are some of the big hitters. The ones that'll give you amazing visuals but can also chew up your performance if pushed too far. Don't worry though, since you reset your CSP settings earlier, your system, as long as it meets the specs I mentioned, should handle them fine. Activate these extensions one by one and watch the FPS counter like it owes you money. You'll see exactly how each affects your visuals and performance. Normally, you'd have to quit and reload to see the changes, but this method lets you stay on track, literally. Starting with Extra FX, before you activate it, scroll through and turn off all the active options inside it first. Then enable the Extra FX extension itself and check your FPS. Inside Extra FX, local reflections and motion blur are usually the FPS eater. They look nice, sure, but they come with a price. Personally, I always turn off motion blur completely and fog blur only kicks in for foggy weather presets, so I usually disable that too. Next, Grass FX. This one can nibble at your performance, but sometimes you barely notice it visually depending on the track. You can tweak the grass density if you want. Just remember, the denser the grass, the denser your FPS drop. Finally, Real Mirrors under Smart Mirror. If your frame rate starts struggling, this is another one to consider turning off. It looks great when it works smoothly, but on a mid-tier setup, it can hit performance harder than your ex-wife's lawyer. All right, awesome fellas. That's it for my updated CSP presets to balance out your visuals while maintaining the stable performance. I'm Faye signing off, catch you guys later, and as always, stay awesome. <laughs>